Bombarder. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. I don't know, Deke. Sounds a lot of work. Can't I just carry on rescuing beasts? Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke.
Sahawan will never believe this. Species limit reach. What does that mean? So weird, what's that? Everything's all right now. you up to now. Levioso! Arrest the momentum.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to... Rebellion. If there's something in particular you're looking for. Now we can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can... Rebellion. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Wow, cool. Very cool. Deke <clears throat> never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Rebellion.
Revelio. resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Oh, it's you! Just... Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. 
I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor, Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face, told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof, his feet transfigured into beets. <laughs> How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever, especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. My brother's doing well, thanks to you. And he listens to me now. Turns out having beats for feet teaches a memorable lesson. to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Feet didn't turn into beats. That's a good start. Bombarda! Revelio! Bombarda! Revelio!
Revelio. Lumos. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. Revelio. Well, Mama Duke certainly left behind more than plants. Bombarda. Revelio. Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Revelio. A sarcophagus. This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. <clears throat> Revelio.
Samantha will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. Nice to see you, my young friend. <sighs> I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. <laughs> it wasn't too much trouble, I hope. <laughs> just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry, that's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course, I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Rebellion. The Pinch Smedleys will always look upon you as a trusted ally and friend. Fitting with the fur coat.
Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? Nice to see you. Thank you again for your help at the lake. I've become quite good at Summoner's Court, and I'm waiting for my next opponent. I suppose that's you. I suppose so. Shall we begin? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. Jesus, man. That's the way to do it. What a remarkable shot! That's the way to do it. wasn't what I wanted to see. That's the way to do it. Akio. That wasn't what I wanted to see. Well, it appears I've been bested. Easy. Well done! Diving, summoner's court, seems there's nothing you can't do. Obviously. You played a good game though, Grace. I did play rather well, didn't I? Only one student has ever beaten me. She's very good. But if you play the way you did against me, you might stand a chance. I do wish you would take your turn. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. This place has seen better days. Rebellion. Bombarder, Rebellion. Bombarder. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Rebellion. Oh, 
Leviosa. Rebellion. Oh shit, that's the inferi area. Or is it the spider area? Ugh. Incendio. Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Leviosa. <laughs> Looks intriguing. Rebellion. Thank 
beasts. Perhaps you should try with the Thestral that you rescued. Rebellion. It's so cute. All right, two more minutes. Mm. I should set up that for all my pens, though.
Oh. Oh my god, it's so cute. Holy crap. It's so cute. <laughs> I cannot. This is so cute. Holy crap, man. Revelio. Try riding a hippogriff. He will soon learn that Kagawa's Revelio. Hmm? We're going to drafts should ensure my victory. Where is that coming from? Scorch mark. Oh wow, someone casted a bombardar here. That is kind of cool. Bombardar! Revelio! What are you up to now? Revelio. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. But I didn't use Crucio. I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Alright, cool. <clears throat> don't feel sorry for Ominous. 
keeping this to ourselves Rebellion. for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Damn. Handy resource indeed. Rebellion. High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But... At the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Hauntel Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, 
at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after High Wing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Oh. Centaurs. A centaur. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Yo, Leo, what's up, man? Ah, uh, those are vicious cre creators. <laughs> oh, you mean creatures? Just wanted to say hi, man, at work. Wish you have a good fun stream. Thanks, man. And, you know, hope you have fun at work as well. <laughs> Be productive, man. At least more pro productive than I did. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful, man. Holy crap, this place is beautiful. Where are we going, Poppy? Oh, shit! Seen a dog rebellion. Jesus. It seems man. that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Where are we going, Poppy? This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelio. take their cages with them when they left. Pelt. Poor beasts. Damn, man. Look at them skin. Jesus, man. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. <gasps> this is goblet metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Revelio. 
do goblin and poacher interests align? Wow, look at that. Look at that sunset, man. Or sunrise, wherever it is. Beautiful. Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Uh, gotta stay invisible, y'all. One foot in front of the next, and quiet as can be. Can I just fight them instead? Just should have took less time, is all I was saying. Yeah. How do you get past that guy? I mean like if we were really playing this as the... Okay. to find out <laughs> I've seen this before <laughs> unfortunately I've seen this before online and this is like one of the funniest shit ever <laughs> I feel like I want to do it too <laughs> here we go repair room Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh my god, I freaking love that. Revelio. Secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Oh. What I wouldn't give any of the dead guys right now. Don't know what Victor was sinking straight in a bargain. There's no talent. Revelio. Have you heard from your family? Has either of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? 
Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer than... Pay-per-view, man. Pay-per-view. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? Jesus, man. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her odds, shall we? from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. I still have time to eat apple. What the hell? Can I walk any faster? Jesus, man. Rebellion. Hello, Hamora. Let's make them count. Revelio. Screw element of surprise, man. We're going in big. We're looking for and you brought a friend.
Might want to run right now. In black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. That's okay. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term.
Oh, just nice. So cute, this little guy. Oh my god, it's so cute, holy crap. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. Oh, wow. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story, and now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Oh, that's a de secret puzzle room. What the heck? I didn't know that. Rebellion. Upstairs. This side. Upstairs. 
upstairs. Revelio. It's here. Cattle gun. I want to go to this thing first. Revelio <laughs> Obviously we're gonna go with that would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the three crystals? May finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from the hotel hall. Okay, so total Rebellion. of three chests. Oh.
Bombarda. Akio. Stuck together now. Interesting. Okay, let's reset. Okay, so let's see here. Bombarder! Accio! Okay, first one done.
I need one more though. Figure it out. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Triangle is one, that triangle is one, that triangle is three, okay. Rebellion. So this is the underground hall. Ah oh, crap, you saw me.
Revelio. Revelio. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct! According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consist of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right! When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The International Confederation of Wizards. No, that's incorrect. The answer was the Wizards' Council. The Wizards' Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The Peruvian Viper Tooth. Brilliant! Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right! 
It is believed that Hengis used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hive behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? I have no idea this one. A letherfold. That's incorrect. The answer was a demiguise. Oh. While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a letherfold? The stunning spell. Actually, the answer was the Patronus charm. What? The only known survivor of a Letherfold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? The Verne de Montmorency. That's incorrect. The answer I was looking for was Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? <laughs> Knowledge is the real magic. No, the answer was never tickle a sleeping dragon. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormians Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is oh. the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? The rune spore. That's right! According to Parcel Mouths, each of the rune spore's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Ilvermorny. Il I have no idea. The Amazon Rainforest. No. Ilvermorny is actually located on Mount Greylock. The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Amatentia. That's the answer. Amatentia smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. Give me your worst. Wonderful. I do admire your thirst for knowledge. Emmerich the Evil was killed in a duel against whom? Egbert the Egregious.
That's right. Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages, when he was the master of the Elder Wand. If a chaser keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? What are these words, man? Have a sucking. That's right. Blatching is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Hairy ears. No, the answer was bad luck. Native to the European coastline, the effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stink sap? Mimbulus mimbletonia. Correct. The Mimbulus mimbletonia plant secretes stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The pepper up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? Basil Flack. That's incorrect. The answer was Limfrid of Stinchcombe. Centuries later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Limfrid's previous work to create the pepper up potion we know today. In The Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the elder wizard leave for his son in the hopping pot? His wand. Incorrect. The answer was a single slipper. The story was created by Beadle the Bard, but there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. The Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? The Scottish Highlands. No, the answer was North America. The part bird, part reptile is a distant relative of the Ockamy and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? Sir Lancelot. No, the answer was Sir Luckless. <laughs> the three witches in the story are named Asher, Althida, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. The world's largest Kelpie is also known by what other name? Galangantua. No, the answer was the Loch Ness Monster. The Office of Misinformation has worked diligently to discredit any muggle evidence of the Kelpie's existence. Oh. Who was the first Minister for Magic? Ulick Gamp. Yes. Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. You might not have got very many right, but I'm sure you learned something regardless. Thank you for humoring me by participating. I had a splendid time. I put the Revelio. book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to be one. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Revelio. Jokes. If you could just tread carefully, that's all I ask. There was a ting. My older brothers were all sorts of information for me. I bet the hound was carrying some purple. 
tell them. Obviously, I asked her if it was for love potion. Revelio. Where's it coming from? Rebellion. What the hell is that coming from? Jesus, man, where's it coming from? My older sisters taught me everything I needed. Rebellion. I forget it. Revelio. You think Gareth is to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty? Rebellion. Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a mostly empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. You don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. Innovators like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Rebellion. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do.
Beautifully done. Yeah. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the Room of Requirement. Well, wow. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to an ex-aura in Upper Hogsfield connected in any way to Professor Fig? I can't begin to imagine what that was about. <laughs> Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but penchant. do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. our visit to Felgrund, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Rebellion. Fascinating.
Chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help you. Find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Here. 
Heck, man. Revelio. Fascinating. Bobada. Akio.
Damn it. Yeah. 
shield. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Repulsa! Akio! Yo, what's up, Bloom? How you doing, man? I'm gonna play soon. Alright, cool. I'm just doing some puzzle stuff right now. <laughs> it's like... Ah, oh, man, I can't figure it out really can't figure out but I like puzzles you know wonder if that will work. I don't think this will work though, but... I really don't think this will work. I don't think this will work. going to work though if I move that over there
Yeah, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. Hmm. This will work though. Also. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. 
Oh my god, I figured it out. I figured it out. Jesus, man, I can't believe it. I figured it out. Oh my god, I figured it out. Yes, it's one of those trials. Oh, I can't believe it. I figured it out. I think so. Please tell me I can jump across. Yes! Oh my god, that was... Challenging, man. Revelio. That was super challenging. What? What? <laughs> it's another. It's another one. What? I just finished one. What the heck is this? Oh, good lord. Oh, have mercy, man. Okay. Akio. The Pulsar. Akio. Okay, you can move like this. Don't get me wrong, this is good, it's fun. But I wasn't expecting it to have so many levels. It's like way too many levels for my liking already. Endless, you know. How long more are you playing for? I have no idea. Maybe until I solve this and we'll see. Akio. Haven't had the slightest clue yet. 3 a.m. Jesus. <laughs> you would like that, wouldn't you? Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. spacing is that from the wall there's one two three four so if I push that over there it also be one two three four and then I have to climb up one platform oh Hmm. 
think it's enough though. I think it's enough. I have to be up by 6 tomorrow. Same here, man. Same here. You're not alone in this, man. That didn't help, did it? Yep, I feel like that didn't help at all. Did I make it worse? Great. I just created something that cannot bring me across. Oh shit, there's a few... Oh god, there's a few chests in here. Okay, where's the restart thingy? There it is. Okay, I didn't realize there's a few chests here. So the first one's up there. Let's do that first, shall we? Oh, great. This one can't move. Oh man, I feel like I'm going to be here for a long time. <laughs> Looks like I'll be here for a long time again. Okay, so how do I get this thing out? Without it being stuck. Okay, first things first is we bring this one. Okay, this one can only go that far. That didn't help at all. That did not help at all. Jesus.
Crap, I just made it stuck. This one can only move up and down only. Now this one is the tricky one. Oh, I figured it out. Alright, cool. Alright, I figured it out. I figured it out. Should be able to get up there now. Come on, climb, climb. Should be able to climb. Bro, you should be able to climb, man. What are you doing? Not yet. Oh, okay. Ha! <laughs> Alright, much better. So how do I solve this part one? I wonder. I 
I bring this over here, it doesn't make any difference because when it comes to here, it can come up to here and then it'll just go straight all the way. And that won't do anything as well. So, I can both that one. But, if I move this one over here, and I move that over there, and then I move it over here, that doesn't do anything too. Rebellion. Trying to get to that chest over there. So if we move this one, this is the funny one. You know, this little platform here is the funny one. Is if I move this, move them, move up, across. That thing is stuck though. The only way I can make it unstuck is if I force it. How do I force it? Can I force it though? Is that how it work? Akio. Okay, I figure it out. That wasn't so hard actually. And now we redo the whole thing. Again. Yeah. 
Just like that. Easy. Problem solved. Please tell me there's no more. Okay. Wow. We solved them all. Sweet. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare with to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Ah, yeah. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Incendio. 
Opening all of these is tempting. Incendio. Rebellion. Accio. We're here for a reason. Rebellion. I'd say opening them all is justified. Confringo. Rebellion. 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 Oh shit, I gotta throw away my gears. Shit, 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 shit. Oh no, this is bad. I got plenty of gears that I have to throw away. Loft. Brilliant. Oh. Uh. Glaciers! Confringo! Bombarder! Rebellion! We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep at it tonight. Expelliarmus! Confringo! Accio! Incendio! Rebellion! Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Rebellion. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often cave-ins, and then were abandoned. Rebellion. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Confringo! Rebellion. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside the sarcophagus. Seems odd. Accio! Rebellion! Accio! Glaciers! Bombarder! Confringo! Expelliarmus! There's something here by the altar. Rebellion. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. 
I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Revelio, look. Bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. No stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Accio! The Guardian Leviosa! Rebellion! We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Find a safe way across. Lumos. Lumos. Accio. Lumos. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Revelio. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Lumos. Rickety bone bridge complete. Bombada. Lumos. Revelio. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio! Rebellion! Accio! You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperius curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Interesting. Where did you learn the Imperio's curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. 
It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. Yo, what's up, 88? Uh, Sap date, yes. Learning Imperial. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Imperial. Here we go. Something troubling ahead. Rebellion. How convenient, man. Rebellion. Don't plan to use it though. Bombarder. Use it on him right after he teaches you. <laughs> Rebellion. Barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. I don't think we're supposed to go here. Let's go through here first. I hate spiders if you didn't know. Whoa, what's with the frame rate, man? Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Rebellion. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Rebellion. I don't think there'll be a mama spider though. I hope not though. For my sake. What the hell? Spider web, burn. Oh. Rebellion. I think I might have two more slots to go, damn it. Gotta throw away some stuff already. Rebellion! Spiders. Accio. Accio. Rebellion. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Oh, I'm supposed to do it for all three. 
That worked. Keep going. What? That Revenue. worked. No, it didn't. Oh wait, that's four. My bad. Akio. Revelio. Akio. That didn't work. That one stayed. That's awkward. Oh wait! It says this one then the circle one. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay. This one is this one and then the wind one. Akio. This looks different than what we faced before. Akio. Revelio. Shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. All right, time to learn Imperial. Oh, actually, no, I, I already. See why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place? I already learned Imperial. Shit! Here comes the spiders. Not again. Is this place dead end lovely all that for nothing hold on don't give up yet shit you just gave me Wigan well is that a boss fight Accio. Revelio. oh shit what the hell is this that looks creepy as hell the relic contains abundant potential possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Sebastian! The relic! Look. Jesus Christ. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I think it means you have to kill someone for it to work. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. 
I must keep Rebellion. this relic secret, especially from my uncle. How is that? Oh my god, is that ominous? Did he come down? Did he follow us? <gasps> ominous. Oh my god, ominous. ominous. The sounds we kept hearing, it was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Oh, can't, can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. I'm the goody two shoe right now. Than Sebastian realizes. For now. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The Dark Arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. Poor Ominous. I feel so bad for I this hope guy. I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Why can I hit this thing? Akio. Can, you, can I hit this thing? Bombarder. Oh no, Rebellion. I can I can destroy it. Never mind. Okay, let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps, man. Good to know that Ominous didn't have to do any fighting at all. You know? Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? Hmm. I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than Rebellion. that. Rebellion! Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Accio. Why is there so Rebellion. many treasure that I did not see just now? What the heck is going on? I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. Am I going the right way? I hope so. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going the right way. Where, where did I come from just now? I come from up there. Oh. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, crap. I'm going in circles again. No, 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 no. I'm going in circles again. What the hell? This place is a freaking maze. Rebellion. So I... Came up from here. There we go.
All right, we are home free. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. I'm afraid that he might kill Anne though. Like, if you think about it, right? There's a chance that he might just kill Anne with that relic. We're gonna find out then. Oh, I have to walk. I have to walk back with him. Okay. Can teleport to. Can I teleport back? No, I still cannot. Ah, stupid Sebastian. Why you make me walk all the way back? Oh my god, is that fire? Oh, <gasps> the city's on fire. When we get to Feldcroft. I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Well, the, the town's on fire, Sebastian. So you might want to think twice right now. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Revelio. Feldkopf's in trouble. They're under attack. Yeah, under That's attack, right. indeed. Ah! Uh, pity. Not quite. No! Ah! Ah! That was meant for me. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ, man. Someone save her! Ooh, he used his unforgivable curse! Oh my god, he made him kill himself. Saved her. Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. I want to say you did the right thing. At the same time, I also want to say it may have been the wrong choice. Because you could have used any other spells, right? But I want to be on his good side for the, for the time being, you know? You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. 
May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. I find it fitting that Sebastian is from Sly Slytherin. Rebellion. Who else would be the best to teach me about all this stuff, you know? Is there anyone that can buy stuff from me? The lady is not here. Let's talk to the dad. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Oh, yes, I am. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Damn. Why, Sebastian? Yeah, man. For that, I'm gonna bomb your ass, man. Watch this. You like this, huh? Rebellion. <laughs> Fascinating. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Yeah, I don't think that's the right time to say that line. Everything is gone, actually. Wait, that's a that's a. Alright, look, look, look. Eh, two thousand. Speak with Sebastian in the Undercroft. Ah, never mind. I think for the time being, the next part of the quest is to. Is that still the continuation of it? Oh, right, right. We're not done with the quest yet, actually. Let's go back to Hogwarts then. Oh, this quest is actually quite long. Like, one of the longest quests, honestly. On another adventure, are we? Let's see what Sebastian has to say. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. Wow. What did you mean you'd send Anne a crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. 
jewellery, cards, old photographs. She got to her favourite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. Hmm. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. All right. Well, that was quite a quest. Not going to lie. All right. So with that said, let's see if we have anything here. We completed. Yay! We defeated a lot of goblins. So that's good. We defeated some infamous foe. Very good. We defeated spiders. Only 76 more to go. Ugh. <laughs> uh, quest wise, we finish all assignment. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. And main story wise, and also. Uh, yeah, okay, wow, well, okay. Exploration. What do we have here? Oh, there's a couple of Hogwarts secret. I didn't know that. That's really cool. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, yeah, so done with the stream today. Uh, regarding tomorrow, I think I can stream for a bit, but not for a long period of time like today. Today is nearly four hours, man. Damn. <laughs> and then after that, the day after tomorrow, I cannot stream anymore. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow then. Bye-bye.